Okay, this is a reading for Sagittarius or for whoever's watching. Um, I'm doing a reading right as the eclipse is happening where I'm at. So, it, it, you can just feel the weird, creepy energy. <laughs> like, you can just feel it, you know. It's kind of like, almost like you, it, it's like you can tell when there's like a storm or something. Like, you can just feel it. Like, everything is like to steal and quiet out there so I figured what better time than to tap into this energy um, and do a reading for y'all if you guys want the extended where I tell you how to like manifest under this energy um, even if the eclipse passed you can still get it because this energy is going to stay around for about 48 72 hours after the eclipse so wow two of these came out Look, the Holy Grail, inner discovery, finding sacredness, you are what you seek. This is crazy because, um, you know, like the natives, we believe that the eclipse is sacred. So it's kind of crazy that that came out. And then we have solar light upgrade, solar plexus chakra, inner fire, willpower. Both of those, look at the, like the brightness on those cards. So I'm just going to read a little bit from each one. Let's see. It says, The Holy Grail has been a mystery of thousands of years. Many believe that it was the cup that Jesus drank from the Last Supper or was used to collect his blood at the crucifixion, while others believed it was a person, possibly Mary Magdalene. It is also described as a stone, a dish, the energy of this card is strongly related to a physical space, which is the chalice well in Gladysbury, Southwest England. Oh, I gotta turn the page. <laughs> it's like stuck. A sacred garden where many go to connect with the great goddess and discover the mysteries within. As a gateway, the Holy Grail is a cup of heart, which we can allow to be filled by source light so that we are overflowing with divine love. The energy that we call into the Holy Grail is the feminine energy of Source, the fierce yet graceful light that inspires us to dance the sacred rhythm of life. This gateway, therefore, encourages us to stop searching outside of ourselves for truth and go within to realize what we have, everything we have been searching for the whole time. It is inviting the divine in, but knowing that it was already there before we asked. And then it <clears throat> tells you to like place your hands on your heart and say this simple prayer. Dear Source Light, thank you for filling my cup of my heart so I'm overflowing with your love. Okay. I was like, what is that noise? There's somebody out mowing. <laughs> Those people, they don't know not to be out there, but whatever. <laughs> um, okay, it says your gifts are being unlocked. Let the world share your treasure. Um... So it, it's funny, it keeps talking about a gateway, and that's exactly what that eclipse is. It's a portal, it's a gateway for some good things and not so good things. That's why I was warning you guys not to be out there watching it. <laughs> um, but anyway, so let's see what this, so and this right here is like a cup. Like, um, it reminds me of like God in the Bible where he says, I will prepare a table for you in the presence of your enemies. And surely in goodness she'll follow you and your cup will overflow. Like that's what this reminds me of. That's the first thing I thought of when I seen it. So I feel like a lot of you guys are about to be blessed right in front of the people who like did you dirty. Um, but again that talks about going within. Like everything you need is already like within you. And your spiritual gifts um, are coming to the light too. Solar. S O. Okay, it says, the solar plexus chakra is found just above the belly button in the pit of the stomach. It is the energetic gateway. Isn't it funny that both of these are talking about gateways? Uh, that governs our gut, our instincts, and our energetic level, or willpower and divine. This space can be described as a glowing sun. It is a space of warmth that gives us necessary focus and energy to fulfill our purpose and realize our dreams. When the solar light gateway opens, our solar plexus becomes an infinite well of light in the pit of our being. This is a source of daily inspiration and ancient wisdom. 
When we feel our willpower increasing, we are remembering that we have prepared for many incarnations for the opportunities we have today. It says the light of the great central sun is shining on you, activating you to push onward and create. This is a perfect time to move forward with projects, goals, and intentions. Align your energy with whatever you are ready to create and experience. Focus on what you already grow, where you are ready to expand. As you focus on your goals, you are giving them energetic encouragement to flourish and open like the warm summer sun kissing the ground encouraging the flowers to grow and bloom the sunlight has arrived it is here in you now and i always tell y'all if you're you know now is the time to focus on your goals your business um you know stuff like that because at the end of the day and i know you'll probably get tired of me saying this your job your goals whatever really truly makes your soul happy is not going to come home one day and tell you that they're tired of you and want a divorce <laughs> so you know, a lot of times us as humans spend so much time looking for love, searching for love, and it's already like within us. Um, okay, so we'll talk about love now, I guess. So <laughs> let's see who's coming towards it all. So what other messages um, do you have for Sagittarius or the collective today under this eclipse energy spirit? I can feel it, like, man, I, because I read energy, I can feel people from clear across the other side of the world, and I can just feel this eclipse energy. It reminds me of a storm, like a storm type energy, like, you just know something's about to change, and that's exactly what it is, the, the moon is a feminine, and the sun is a masculine, and they're about to collide together, and when they do that, they're going to birth something new. Look at this. <laughs> There's the sun, that central sun. <laughs> Look, I hope y'all aren't out there watching it right now. Somebody's watching you guys, though, but what's new? Page of Pentacles. Getting some type of offer, some type of message, or of sorts. Somebody could be trying to offer to heal something with you. Look at this. There's a lot of page energy showing up. The world. It's like you've healed, you moved into a new cycle here. And then we have the Page of Wands. You could be getting messages from people like offers here. It's like you're getting some type of good news. Oh, look, that King of Pentacles flew. <laughs> so you have a King of Pentacles here coming towards you, Sagittarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Oh, you had an ending with this person, did you? You're going to get some type of like, you could get some type of message about this person or this person just wants to reach out to you because they feel like you've ended things with them. They feel like you've moved on. Yeah, this person's upset at you. See so you how this person who's upset at you, Sagittarius, um... This person's in regret and despair. Now, I don't know if they're upset at you or they're just going through an ending of their own. Like, you may get a message from somebody here and they're going to be like, hey, I'm not doing good. I'm depressed. Um, you know, I moved on from somebody. I'm going through this ending. This could have been a third party. Okay, so either... Because look at this shit. We have the three clubs, the five of swords. Um, I feel like this person could have had you in a third party. Or you're, they're like this. Okay. There's two different stories here. I feel like this king of pentacles may be somebody you were talking to. And there's another energy here who's upset that you ended things with them because of the king of pentacles they're like jealous and they're depressed maybe this there's another energy that hasn't showed up there it's like it's like somebody's getting like 
Okay, because there's all this page energy. So to me, that's like gossip. I feel like there's like some gossip going around that you are dealing with the King of Pentacles and, and there's somebody else who's upset about this, maybe. Yeah, it's this like Leo energy. So there's somebody that you have blocked that is like in is in despair. They're upset. They're jealous. They're pissed. They think that you ended things with them because of this King of Pentacles. Ooh, this, and so now this person's become like obsessed with you. Like they have an obsession with you. Uh, the Virgo energy. Mm. Yeah, just be careful because, like I said, this King of Pentacles could have a third party that you have blocked or maybe you blocked somebody. But there's like this energy of like people are pissed about this, gossiping about this. Yeah, I feel like there's also people looking into, like, what you do for work or who you're, like, hanging out with. It's like a huge emphasis on gossip about work and what you're, who you're hanging with, who you're talking to here. Two of Cups. This person could just be, like, a friend, but people, like, are suspecting it's more than just a friend. You also, okay, I also feel like this King of Pentacles could be having, like, going through some type of crisis and anxiety and burdens because of, like, work. So this person's, like, coming towards you, but they're in this devil energy. So be aware of that. Yeah, I want you to be careful because this, this came up in a reading the other day. There's somebody looking at your finances. Like... Because like I said, in the original tarot, there's six pinnacles to the left, one pinnacle to the right, and they're looking at the six pinnacles. So to me, it's always somebody who's looking at your money. They're looking back at the past. Whoever this individual is or these people, they feel like you're able to manifest things really easily. This is somebody who like goes in and out of your life. So this is like a past individual. King of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This person's watching you, observing you. They feel like you chose somebody over them. There, there's just this energy of the this King of Cups may not be a water sign. I feel like they could be a fire sign masquerading around as a water sign because they could be like an emotional type. They, and it, whenever they watch you, they feel like you're getting wish fulfillment. So it's like there's these people who are having hard times, but then when they look over at Sagittarius, they're like, Sagittarius is over there getting wish fulfillment. Yeah, I'm telling you, you're being stalked by people. And it's not just one person. So I want you to be careful about this. Some of these people are like stuck on you. They're stuck on like, they, they just love to watch you. Um, they feel like you are moving on. Like it's almost like you're becoming out of these people's leagues. Like you're on a whole nother level. And you're shifting into a new timeline. And so they don't like that. And they see that you have all these options, all these opportunities. And they just feel stuck. Yeah, and this is like causing a huge tower between you and these individuals because they're like, Sagittarius is gone. Like, Sagittarius isn't sticking around for our bullshit anymore. There was also somebody who kept you as an option. They thought the grass was greener on the other side. So they could have left you to go look and then they got over there and realized there ain't shit out there. And they're looking back at you and they're like, well, damn, Sagittarius is doing really good. And then look, there goes that damn holy grail. This is that oracle card. You, you're getting blessed. Like you have all these cups to choose from, Sagittarius. And then it's like you get this huge like tower shocking like revelation. You're like, oh, and you, and you know what cup to get. So you're getting new love. And a lot of these people are getting love behind and they're upset about that. 
They're upset that you left them to go find something new. But I feel like these people... Hold on, I gotta pause it because I gotta send this um, extended real quick. So hold on, let me pause it. Okay. So it's like you're getting new love, new finances, everything you dream and desire, but these people not so much. And these, it's like they actually went off and thought they could find something better, but they couldn't. And then when they come back to you, they realize you've already moved on. So this is going to be like a shocking tower moment to some of these people who try to play you. Because um, <laughs> it's like you're you're moving on. Like somebody is coming in with this new love and you're just putting an ending to anything in the past. And so if any of these people who did you dirty try to come back, you're going to be like, no, thanks. You know, like because somebody's coming in to bring you this cup. Yeah, you're, you're walking away from the past. Like, you're going to go find your wish fulfillment here. And you completely ended it with these individuals. Yeah, and you became single. So, <laughs> you're over here in the Knight of Pentacles. Um, you're good alone. You don't need any of these people, I can see. And then we have the Justice Scale here. Karma. And... Oh, I can tell it is so dark. It got dark out because I have like the, the curtains closed and shit, but I could, you know, I could still see light through them and it's like really dark right now and everything is so fucking quiet out there. Like the birds are quiet. Like the only thing I'm hearing is like cars driving by. It's just so creepy. <laughs> like, uh, so it's so weird. You can just feel the energy. Like, that you can feel that there's a portal open. I'm not bullshitting you. That's one thing I will never do is bullshit you guys. Um, but you guys are getting this good karma. You're you're getting your cup. Like, you said the hell with these past people who were not treating you right, and then you went. You did the eight of cups. Walked away. And then you went out and find your wish fulfillment. And somebody comes in and gives you this last cup. And then you end up having the Ten of Cups. So you're about to be with somebody here. Um, and I know that's why I was hearing that song yesterday when I woke up. At last, my love has come around um, by Etta James at last. Yeah, this is destined. Like, you have a really good karma imprint. Um, I feel sorry for the people who did did you wrong. Because, like, they're going to get their ass handed to them. Because you're like an earth angel here. And you cannot replace earth angel energy. And so, it's like, you got the page of cups. Here goes that cup. I'm telling you, you're, you are getting a cup by the divine. It's like this huge blessing, this new love. Things going in your favor. And people don't like that. They want to hold on to you. Like, there's people, Sagittarius, that want to hold on to you. They want to hold you back from your destiny here. And so you're very guarded against these individuals because you already know, like, what they're doing. Yeah. And you're standing in your power with the Queen of Wands and the Eight of Wands. And you're like, no, you guys aren't holding me back anymore. I'm standing in my power. I know who I am now. I know I'm powerful with the black cat there. That means that you, you know your shit. <laughs> you're very spiritual. And I feel like you tell these people. You're like, no, I'm not beat to hear it. And you move on. And now you're the one that has all these choices. You're the one that gets to pick who you want to be with and who you don't want to be with. Yeah, but there's somebody, I'm telling you, there's people who see you doing good and they want to come back from the past. And you got choice and lovers here. So it's like, what's fixing to happen in your life is you're about to get new love, Sagittarius. And you're going to have to juggle your new love and your work life. That's what you're going to be juggling. You're not going to be juggling people. You're going to be juggling one person and your job. That's what I see. So um, you're going to be very busy here in the near future because you're getting new love. And um, the people in the past are like really going to regret what they did to you. 
And there's going to be people that try to come back and fight for you. Leo energy, Gemini, Scorpio, like Virgo. These people are going to come back and be like, no, Sagittarius belongs to me. And they're, they're waiting on this. They're waiting on you. Um, I also see, like, uh, they're showing me into your future, and this is your future. When it comes to your work, career, your goals, whatever it is you're trying to build, you're going to be very successful, and you're going to get a lot of attention. But you have a victory wreath. So you've overcome all these obstacles, and there's been people who have tried to stop you, but they can't, because you are led by the divine. And so you overcome all these obstacles, and all these haters, and all these people... Yeah, then we have the moon. And see, this is what people's fear is. They fear you moving on. Yeah, look, you're the alchemist. You are the alchemist. You made this happen. The magic lies with you, Sagittarius. <clears throat> and there you are. With your new cup of love, holding that holy grail. This isn't just about love. This is also about spiritual gifts. You are manifesting spiritual gifts. Like that cup that you're you're falling in love with your gifts, your spiritual gifts too, not just a person. Um, and you've been crowned. Like I know I've seen that a hundred times, but you are crowned. And you have this new love. You have these new love, this love for your gifts. And so it's like people are going to see this and they're going to regret how they treated you. Yeah, and you're you're no longer going to be out in the cold because the five of pentacles is in the reverse. So you no longer are going to be alone. You're no longer going to feel left out. Um, you're no longer going to have any financial issues. Yeah, and it's like you you know what your choice is. Your choice is to go with God, to go with the divine. And if anybody that wants to come on this journey with you, they're going to have to follow the divine. Because you have the two of swords reversed. You're not choosing anybody who's not following in the divine's footsteps. And that they, they chose you. You see how the two of swords, when it's in reverse, means there was a choice that was made. And this is like God, spirit, ancestor. This is a very powerful um, being here, this Hierophant. And they chose you. They picked you. As So if you're starting to realize you have spiritual gifts, just know that you were chosen. You didn't choose this life. They chose you. You were picked. So a lot of people are starting to realize this of who you are. We have this Empress energy down here. So it's like you're falling in love with the, the divine. Yeah, and look... You get your Ten of Pentacles. You're getting your Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. Somebody is going to come into your life, Sagittarius, and sweep you off your feet. And you're going to be with this person for the rest of your life. Look at that man. Look at the way she's looking at him and he's looking at her. <laughs> so it's like you found your person. Somebody's going to come in and offer you marriage. And you're going to you're gonna accept it. And then we got this dang King of Wands down here. I wonder what he wants. Oh, Lord, here he comes. This Okay, so this King of Wands, whoever this is, this could be a new person, could be even a past person. They want to come in and speak some type of truth and give you clarity here, okay? Um, and this is the Divine Masculine because we've seen you, the Queen of Wands, was with the Moon Energy, and now the King of Wands comes in and he's with the Sun Energy, so, this is like the eclipse, like the eclipse of the heart. <laughs> Who sung that? Total eclipse of the heart or whatever. I don't even know if that's a good song for love or not. But you're meeting your perfect match. And I don't know if this is a past person and you guys are coming back together or if this is a new person. So, um, whoever it is, is going to make you very, very happy. I can see that. I was looking at these cards to see what is down here. Just trying to figure out. Because I see you like, you're this empress. You're like really moving away. <laughs> like you're moving away from anything that doesn't serve you. And then we have the queen of, the queen of swords, the king of swords, the high priestess. 
And then um, the Seven of Swords and the Queen of Pentacles. So it's like, who, if, the, if this is a past person coming back to you um, to reconcile with you, they're leaving a Queen of Pentacles in the past. And this person, whoever that person is, the Queen of Pentacles, they're going to be like mind fucked and heartbroken because they're getting left. This could be... This could be somebody who your person was, like, dealing with while they weren't talking to you, like, because we have the High Priestess here. So, if this person does return, the first thing you're going to say to this person, because you're going to find out some type of truth, like, Spirit's going to reveal a lie to you. The first thing you're going to say to this person is, like, hey, I know you're talking to some somebody else. I know that why... Me and you were in the King and Queen of Swords, which is like very cold, not really talking type fucking energy. Why we weren't speaking. I knew you were sneaking around with this bitch <laughs> whether or, or this guy. So you're going to tell that person straight up, like straight up. If you want to deal with me, you're about to break this bitch's or this guy's heart. You're not going to give to them no more. You're going to reject them. No longer offer them any passion and no commitment. And you're going to fucking come back to me and we're going to do the damn thing. So some of you guys are getting new love, it looks like. And then some of you guys, somebody's coming back to offer you what you deserve. So it's going to be two different stories, you know, for both of y'all. But <clears throat> the first thing you're going to say to this King of Wands when they come back, because they are coming back, is you're going to tell them what time it is. Like, hey, I know you're talking to somebody else. Get rid of them or don't even come talk to me ever again in life. <laughs> That's what it looks like. <laughs> because somebody is being hidden. You already know what time it is. So that's what's coming toward you. But you got a lot of, like, new energy coming towards you guys. Um... I feel like I want to know they want me to ask something I'm just trying to figure out what it is karma okay what is the person that did Sagittarius is wrong karma like what is their karma for doing Sagittarius wrong I guess they want to talk about this. Like, because somebody's about to get this, I guess. What is this person's karma for doing Sagittarius wrong? I just heard multiple people. Okay, so what are these multiple people's karma? Well, I guess it's multiple people. Ooh. Damn. They don't have a very bright future. I guess that could be ended right there. Oh, man. I mean, that's self-explanatory right there. Oh, you're going to see this. You're going to see this person get betrayed. This person um, get stabbed in the back because they stabbed you in the back. So now they're going to get stabbed in the back. These are people that are around them going to do this to them. This could be like their own kids turning against them. Um, or people they know from the past that they thought were like friends are going to turn against them. Betray them. Yeah, because it's, it's like the same thing they did to you. Like you never suspected they were going to betray you, but they did. So now there's going to be people around them that betray them that they never suspected. You're going to see all this. You're going to be watching this. Because they chose to betray you, now it's going to become their betrayal. And then you chose to walk away to go find your wish fulfillment, and you get it. So another part of their karma is to watch you walk away and get this wish fulfillment. And then this card was flipped, and this is going to burden them. Seeing you get your wish fulfillment is going to burden them. Yeah, they're going to be pissed. These people are going to be pissed when they see you doing well. Yeah, and you're just over here celebrating. <laughs> you're also going to end up in a committed relationship with somebody, and that's also going to piss people off. I also feel 
feel like their stability, their stability is going to be interrupted. So they could end up having to move or something. Then we have the Queen of Swords. Ooh, the King and the Queen of Swords. There's that pair. There could be like a couple also. So there could be like a couple that turned against you or something. And then there's this King of Cups. So these are like specific people. They're showing like the future. Yeah, these people that they like um, turned on you with, there was a group of them or something. There was like a couple, um, like this could be your person, and then there's this couple over here. These people are about to like turn on them, like betray them. There's going to be like fights, arguing, um, lots of gossip, slander, the same things they did to you are now coming back to them. Yeah, and they're going to remember you. When all this starts happening, I don't know if you prophesied this to this person. Like, maybe you told this person these things were going to happen. Like, hey, you think all these people love you and they're there for you. They're all going to turn against you. And then they do. And this person, when this starts happening, they're going to remember your words. You spoke some type of words to this individual or to these people. And they're looking back at the past like, son of a bitch, Sagittarius was right. Yeah, it could be like Leo energy. Look at this shit. Whatever you guys put on your... Oh, man. If you guys didn't get that extended, you really should. Like I said, you still got about 48 hours to 72 hours to manifest under this energy. I'm not even going to say anything, but those who bought the extended already know what I'm thinking. You have the eclipse energy here. You have the eclipse energy here. Mm-hmm. I know what y'all did. I can see it. Um, yeah, <laughs> these people are about to lose money, to lose finances, to lose stability, and there's going to be people that they thought were solid, they're going to turn on them. They're not, they're also going to lose like work, money, like they could have been very busy in their job before and then all of a sudden they're not. They're going to know that it was Sagittarius. It's not that you did this to these people. It's just that you are an earth angel. You are divinely protected and you're a walking karma. Meaning, anytime somebody does you dirty, they will get hit like eight times harder than somebody who wasn't an earth angel. So you are like these people's karma. Yeah, we have this, this person right here. The king of wands, the knight of wands. Yeah, and you're also like healing and not accepting any this person's offer. Whoever this King of Wands is. Like you're healing. This person tried to have you as like friends with benefits or something I'm seeing here so they could keep their options open. Whoever the King of Wands is. And then you manifested something. I see you doing something. You manifested something towards this individual. You already know the truth of who this is. Ooh. Whoever the king of wands is, they're fixing to get hit with karma like never before. Never before. Um... Anything they thought was good news is about to turn into bad news. They were on the wrong side of things here. You were the honest one. You were the one who was speaking truth and clarity. And you warned this individual, I feel like, at one point about people around them or about not doing you dirty or something. Like, you told them who you were. You may even told them, like, hey, I am an earth angel. I do work for God. I do work for the divine. And they didn't care. They still treated you like shit. They listened to a bunch of people around them. And I'm seeing the tables have turned. Now, whatever this person spoke evil over you is now returning to them. 
and the people around them are going to drop like flies one by one they're going to realize that all the people they listen to ain't shit and didn't have good intentions for them and so now karma is hitting them So after this karma hits this person, they're going to start doing some soul searching and they're going to realize that this third party or these people that were around them were the fucking devil. This person also cheated on you, it looks like, with a third party. They picked a third party over you because they thought the fucking grass was greener. So they were thinking with like their private parts instead of their heart and their soul and they picked wrong. And so this person did something with a third party. And now it's like, boom, karma is fixing to hit this person really hard. Because they chose wrong. They chose to do you wrong. And now this person's stuck. And they were trying to let, like, hold on to you, but they can't. And you're moving on. You released yourself from this person's grip and moved on. Yeah, they're going to try, after this person gets hit really bad with karma, and they remember, like, what you said to them, they're going to try to come to you and reverse all this. Like, oh, no, I wasn't really rejecting you. Um, you know, please unblock me or let me unblock you. Uh, you know, they were, like, holding back while they were out looking at other options. And now they're realizing you were the one. Because you have the Eight of Pentacles reversed, the Lovers, and the Queen of Wands. You're like divinely protected here. But you also were a very easy person to love compared to these other individuals. Like there wasn't a lot of work. This person didn't have to put in a lot of work into you. Because you were already the Empress. Meaning you already had everything. All they had to do was just love you. And they couldn't even do that because they thought they could get better. And so now Karma is about to hit this individual. And they're going to remember what you said. There was something you said to this person. And they're going to realize you are this high priestess now. Yeah. And you are you are going silent on this individual and these other people. And you're going to a complete new timeline. <laughs> and look what you're getting. You're getting new love. Like you made a choice to find new love. And the new love isn't going to be giving to other people. They're just going to be giving to you. Yeah, you're getting new love and new finances. So your karma is very good. So they're showing me your karma and their karma. Their karma is they're about to get hit really hard. People they thought they could trust that they listened to are all about to betray them. They could end up even losing their stability somehow. Um, and you're over here. The divine has sided with you. Like, the, the divine chose you. So you're getting new love, new finances. You've jumped to a new timeline. And here you are. You're also protected by this ancestor. This um, ancestor has been protecting you. And then here you are getting your choice of love, too. So you have a really good karma imprint. So like I said... Um, I do see something was done with this eclipse energy for those who bought the extended. Good on you. Because you know what time it is. Um, okay. So anyway, I'm going to end it. Let's see what numbers we're dealing with. One. Three. Six. Now that's a different set. One, three, six. You don't see that often. Then we have the one, one, one. The all new energy. That's what we're in. This new energy. Um, so one three six two one one. I was trying to see if I see anything else. Like if you put those ones together, that's a three. So we have thirty three. That's the Christ consciousness energy there. And then here's some signs you could be dealing with. Libra, Pisces, uh, Aquarius, Capricorn. Leo, Taurus, Aries, Virgo, uh, Gemini, Cancer, Libra, Scorpio, Sag, Capricorn, Pisces, Aquarius. So those are some signs you could be dealing with, okay? So have a good one. Love you guys.